What's up my curly people? I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today, I will be reviewing the Denman brush. Now this brush seems to be very popular in the curly hair community. So I was like, you know what? I should probably try it. I saw it so often that it got to the point where I just thought it was a brush for black people, made by black people, for people with curly hair. But when I bought this brush, the box says it's the UK's number one professional hairbrush brand, British made, and there's this white lady on here with straight hair. So, uh, I was wrong. This brush right here cost me $13. I did end up buying it from Sally's Beauty, and then I later found out that I could have bought it for cheaper, like $7.99 cheaper, if I would've went anyplace else. So the brush itself does look very nice. It has a sleek, shiny black handle. The bristles are very hard, like straight up pieces of plastic. And then it has this red rubber, you know, bottom to it. Now I tried this brush for the first time last week and I have some footage of me in the shower. And as you will see, I had a very hard time detangling with this brush. I could not for the life of me get this through my hair. And I'm looking at the brush thinking like, why is this happening? Are my curls just very tangled today? To the point where I grabbed my old faithful brush, but then I got through it with ease. So now I'm looking back at this brush and I'm looking at these long bristles and because they're so long, my hair would be so far into it that it was hard for it to pull it down to create that detangling motion and it would just get stuck in there. I don't get it. I was ready for this brush to blow me away. So after I got out the shower, you know, feeling kind of defeated, my hair is now detangled, not thanks to this brush, I decided to use it again while I put on my deep conditioning treatment. So maybe this brush is going to be good for like distributing the product evenly through my hair and probably even creating some good curl definition, which it did after it was detangled. So when I go through my hair, I know the product was really getting on every strand because I'm brushing it through and I'm getting very tight spiraled curls, which is cool and all, but I don't personally want a brush that I can't use to brush my hair. If a brush can't detangle my hair, I'm really not interested. I decided to go online and do some more research about this brush, and a lot of girls say that they don't use this for detangling, they use it just to get really good curl definition. So you want me to buy one brush for detangling and then one brush for curl definition? No. All that tells me is that this brush is for different people. Who it's not for is for me. But this brush is for someone who wants some more curl definition, someone who doesn't mind getting shrinkage because once you have tighter curls, they will shrink up. So my hair went from looking like at this length to going like up here, like it really shrank up. So if you're someone that does not mind a little shrinkage and you rather have curl definition, this brush is probably gonna be great for you. Because this brush is known to be a little bit hard to detangle, many curly girls make a modified Denman brush. So that means that they took out every other row of the brush and took out these plastic bristles. I'm guessing this thing will pop out. Okay, I think it slips out. Ah! I scratched myself. And now I think you can open this. Oh, you can! This is interesting. So when you pop this open, ta-da! There are all of the bristles. So if you push it out, I just took out one row of the comb. The popular thing to do is to take out every other row and it should be a little bit easier to use. I obviously haven't tried brushing it modified yet because I think I'm just over this brush, you know, to be honest. And I don't want to spend $13 to have to then tear apart my brush. And then you just slide it back in the DM. It goes down in the DM. So overall, I mean, I'm not gonna say this brush doesn't work because I've watched several videos where girls love this brush and I've seen it work in their videos on their hair. It's just not a brush that I will be continuing to use. Curl definition is not something that I strive for via my brush. I usually use styling products to get the curl definition that I want and this is the definition that I want. I don't want it to be any tighter than this 
or it will shrink up. But if you have this brush, I wanna know your opinion. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you use it to detangle? Do you use it out of the shower, in the shower? Do you use it for curl definition? Let me know, leave me a comment, we're all curious. Before you go, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee, and hit that subscribe and that little bell button so you don't miss any more of my videos. I post new videos every Friday and Sunday, so I will see you next week right here on Bianca Renee Today.